খুন রেড নাজামুন নাজামুন মিন ইন রিয়েলি ইন ফোর্ট রিয়েলি সাইক্রেড কুন রেড খান মান মান পুন এন কব বন গুন ওয়াল কবির কুনরেড বিরি বেন বল খা মা কাক মাচাচ গং বিরেন বল মান মান বুই যা বিরে রায় বিরে গাই মেন বিরে বল কাই খুড়ে বেবা বিন বেক কে গুনরেড কুন ওড়াল কব কবাই নাই ইংগি উঠিয়া গাজট মেন নালে গাড়ি বুক খান কাবল মান মহি মহি ইতালে ইতালে বাউন গান বাউন গাত পেরে হুট যাও কব কবাই গাড়ি গার্ক মে গাড়ি ডেন ডিফ্রেন নাবার গেট বল ন গাবি রে কুন্দুর কাবাক মে কুন্দাত গাবাক মে গাড়ি গার্ক মে বল কি যার Arnhem Land, North Australia, home to planet Earth's oldest living indigenous peoples. The vast, ancient land spans 97,000 square kilometers and supports a population of over 18,000 people living in hub towns, communities, and on homelands. Declared an Aboriginal reserve in 1931, Arnhem Land is one of the world's largest and most valuable cultural strongholds. Music and indigenous culture, the ancient tradition of song lines, bongo and creation stories represents and encapsulates all indigenous history and spirituality. But even with what you would assume to be a deeply treasured and protected area of global significance, the people of Arnhem Land are fighting for their basic rights and human needs with not much support. There are significant social and political problems and the destruction of land and environment. The Jelk Rangers are an indigenous-driven land care organization. With 20 years of being at the forefront of progressive management and planning, the Jelk Indigenous Protected Area covers 6,672 square kilometers. Following many years of consultation and development, it was declared a protected area in September of 2009. Landowners from more than 102 clans were consulted and all gave their full support for the declaration of the Indigenous Protected Area and the endorsement of the Jelk Rangers and their management activities as caretakers of country. Victor Rostron is Jelk's head ranger and is an incredible example of how one man has maintained his family's traditions while working alongside the ranger program. He does this through music and storytelling, as well as through his example as a dedicated leader of his community and advocate of growing and progressing two ways, Balanda and Binin. Um, hello everyone, my name is Victor Runo Rostren. I born this country, the clan, clan group name Urpan country. It is Urpan country. Here I am big name Mokori, and I born not far from the corner, place called Jenmed. When I was born there, uh, my caretaker is all old people, like my grandma, uh, my grandfather, I seen really bush life all my life and grow up bush. Never read and write. I learn by watching, by action, foreign language like that action. My uncle come up say, Bulan, you want to work ranger? And I said, what ranger? I didn't know what ranger meaning. Can I go out? We want to nominate you to be a ranger to look after country. And right now I'm here in my country been working from 95 right up to the um, uh, head ranger for Jelk. All the people, all people, leader, push me, got a job, and teach me, and give me everything. And I got a knowledge from both sides, like 
with his side and job side. They saw double tools at me and I'm really proud where I'm standing right now. I'm a head ranger and I'm really proud of my kid watching me and I'm teaching them. Um, Mandarawin. 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 That skin part, wet one, Nima. You hit him with a rock, make him really sticky one. And you soak his like water. Um, one hour or two hours, all the fish float. Uh, we call them garigol bun. Garigol bun one. Like strong one, any? Strong one, any? Medicine. Yo, you kill him fish, make him drunk, and then get a sphere, then you wait. Yo, mandara win. Ciao, Rangers are a land and sea management organisation. So we're based as part of Balanunga Aboriginal Corporation and our main work is land and sea management across the Jelk Indigenous Protected Area and the surrounds. It started off as a very small project and has built up to be a large, strong ranger group, one of the largest in Australia. It has some world leading projects and it has some amazing partnerships with lots of different organisations and agencies. So one of the strengths of JOLK is its diversity in its staff. We have around 30 Indigenous Rangers and a mixture of men and women and each of those helps fill different parts of the work that we do. Our Sea Rangers um, have been probably one of the longer and more famous group of the JOLK Rangers in terms of um, publicity and media but they also have a long-standing relationships with customs and fisheries, so they undertake border protection and security um, surveillance, as well as um, doing things like marine debris patrols, monitoring um, the general health of the, the coastline, but also supporting um, when it comes to search and rescues, um, helping out locals, um, and generally providing um, sea country support. Um, my name is Alfie Kalaminda. I'm the senior ranger, the senior coordinator for the Sea Rangers. My country is the Bowcott Bay Area. I'm from the Nakara tribe. And yeah, I like my, I like this job. It's get to, we get to go to country, to cover the country. And animals and all that. It's important for the future and both black and white Australian to enjoy the country, keep we clean up the country for them as well, to enjoy it. We're the Yelp Sea Ranger. Welcome to our country. No more. Uh, we're doing some flare training, flare demonstration training today. I'm, I'm demonstrating on uh, how to let flares off in an emergency. It's for the elements of shipboard safety uh, and part of their coxswain ticket. Because that country, when I walk barefoot, when you walk barefoot, that's where you connect with country. That's where you, uh, the country respect you. Like connect, like you get a USB cord, put them on computer, and you read everything. That's how I feel like, feeling. When you walk on the country, like you're putting in your own, your own USB on the ground and connect everything. And that's where you'll get feedback from a uh, good spirit. And hey, that's how I get a feeling every time. What hurt? You might block this one, a good butt, then put them together. Like in Kobogo by Murugno Bindigurmang. All people, Bindigurmang, inside. You can look, a couple of bones sticking out right there. All people never go right there all the way. The Freeman area. Just to leave them like this one for a couple of days and then get them remain like bone, clean them up and put them in um, all our log. They used to dance, make it cobbly with all the log and bone inside. We, they call it lark one, put them inside and then dancing for really cobbly. Bunbork, 
bonggol Ralph Tony Karewen Garmen Nakkan Kunbor Kanman Bungat Pere Kariburk Naren Bakari Nak Naren Song line is all the song line a lot of, a lot of different bungal like Mitchang, Mulara, Bongaling Bongaling, Mimi, uh, everything on the song line, all the meaning like Bush Yam, Kangaroo, and Inu, and they put it together like land, landscape, land management song. Kunbork, Bungul, Tolkang, Jalawarik pe, Urucha, Ngat Peregi, the created two person traveling from place, Urucha. Well, uh, even we don't know, maybe from Africa, when everything been together, the song line traveling from Sokwara all the way inland. Traveling all the way, singing, keeping every different, different tribe the song line and Kunbor, Bungul, everything. And that's where one song line traveling from here, Ra Ra, that's it. And then that's where, doesn't matter any being you seen on the inside, we all same, connected. Doesn't matter they're really white skin, but Aboriginal, you know, they're still same. Uh, or countrymen, that's why we call, call us a beanie, black fella. land and throughout Australia the relationship between people, country and wildfire has been deeply connected and goes back as far as the reaches of living memory. The continuous cycle of birth, growth, fire and rejuvenation has kept country alive and thriving for thousands and thousands of years. The knowledge of how to utilize fire for the benefit of the country now lies in the wisdom of Aboriginal people's ancient land care strategies. The ability of indigenous peoples to continue the ancient tradition of fire management was hampered by government regulation and policy. The ongoing fire regimes that had provided a sustainable life cycle were now under pressure. Critical aspects of country and culture became endangered. Sacred sites, ceremonial grounds and animal habitats were placed under serious threat. Hotter fires burned for months longer due to grasses and weeds that grew faster and provided the fuel needed for small dying fires to come raging back. Sacred country literally going up in smoke. The Jelk Rangers, working together with neighboring ranger groups developed a new fire management regime, which drew on the vast understanding of fire and country held by traditional land owners. Together with modern tools, technology and science, They've built what is now one of the most successful fire abatement projects in Australia and arguably in the world. I mean, it used to be a lot of painting a eh? long time. I'm low, I mean, kill him by fire, you know, a lot of fire. You know, black smoke, warm water, I mean, kill him. You know, not a lot of beam, no? all that warm. Mimi, Baramandi, Saratoga, and Rock Kangaroo used to be here, and now all black with smoke. Really no good. A little upset, seeing rock painting missing, disappearing. What do you more reckon? You want the same wood? Same. Yeah. Same. Jelk's next biggest challenge is feral animals. The, the main ones that we're dealing with at the moment is buffalo and pigs. In the Jelk, Indigenous protected area, we would have around 20,000 buffalo, and 
those buffalo are not only destroying the physical landscape and, and reshaping it uh, by physically trampling it down, um, they're also destroying um, key ecological processes and one of those is fire. Buffalo create artificial fire breaks from the way that they move through the country um, and they destroy the vegetation that supports uh, good fire. So when you fly over the Jelk IPA you see the impacts of buffalo. It's blatantly obvious as millions of footprints across the floodplains. You can see the wallows which look like moon craters and this landscape should look like a lawn, or just a green, nice green lawn, absolutely chocker with plants and wildlife, birds. It should just be teeming with really obvious life. Instead what you see is a muddy, trampled landscape and that's buffalo all the way through. And that's happening more and more across the whole IPA. Um, and the problem is, is that the islands of, of green keep getting smaller and smaller each year. And the longer we leave it, the longer we wait, um, the less chance there is of ever recovering it. Jang no kari kari me kundulk, mai kunbad kundulum. Jang no, jang no kabi wala wala on. Ganaparu kunon junak binindalok ngaringarak me. Jalmaken Naridoven, which really, really powerful tools for us, mob, um, sacred site, is like our life keeping, like we all connect. Yeah. I really feel really no good when I stand up in my own country, I look around on the circle, it's been really crying. And why I'm crying? Because of all people knowledge, no respect, and just like promise broken down for all old people. When old people push me, they say, you the chosen one, you gotta look after the country. And when this culture, everything dropped down, it's gonna be broken, all the promise. The all the kids grow up, they can't rec recognize their the motri, the skin name, everything. They can recognize one another. They'll be blind, just black color. No skin, no dawara, nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm really, really big worried. Ma, I don't know if I'm going to Cyrus Rustran. I'm going to go Victor Rustran. I'm going to go to Victor Rustran. มามาไงแม่มาขอดิโอเคเราดูได้วิกตาร์ฟาสเทนนี่ก็ก็จะรังปุกกันไลค์ but there's one song line they call it. They call it um, whoever <coughs> step up to be a leader with clapstick and boomerang. We call it Mangalakkar. Mangalakkar means have that full certificate like on the head where people give them knowledge. We call it Kun Wok Mayali, Kun Gaj Mayali. That's the strong leader like politician. But being anyway, who's going to step up and look up to country and bring the knowledge back. <laughs> Jelk is attempting to manage this feral animal problem 
buffalo and pigs come hand in hand. On one side we try and reduce the buffalo numbers, we do that through culling or, or harvesting or any other method that gets them down. Um, it's a pretty expensive and um, time consuming process. Uh, pigs unfortunately are even harder, they're much harder to remove from a landscape. Um, there's a multitude of, of, of methods, um, trapping and baiting and um, all of those require time and resources. Um, what we do have is we've got the skills for, for people on the ground and like most things it's finding the, 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 fi the finance to help drive the programs and implement our five and ten year plans um, to bring the landscape back to what it was, a, a healthy, um, incredibly vibrant and sustaining landscape. One of the things that's really important to JELP and for the traditional owners is teaching young people and learning to look after their country, um, to become not just rangers but land managers in every sense and that's where one of our key programs is our Learning on Country program which provides a bridge from students in school right through to a pathway where they can become a land manager. And it's really natural, it's like a cycle, because you can't do it everything on your own. You have to um, educate people, like recordings, and spread the news. You can spread the news by singing song, or telling story, or recording DVD. And that's how people can look, clear picture, and they can realize, and wake up, you know? Like big wake up call for everyone, and they might do something. We need more help, beaning mob, but it's really too hard to manage ourselves. Different government or different visitor, like Balanda, working together, and like weed, feral, fire, water, like, like controlling. But we can't do anything because of Mother Nature. So we keep working together. Together, I mean, Balanda beaning, and the spirit, and home. Couldn't read. Wildfire burning, Hanamlen. Wildfire burning, Manwork. Wildfire, Manwork. The kind of fire that will either destroy everything in its path or burn just enough that fresh young shoots and new life will rise again, rejuvenating the land and nurturing the people. Modern society has swept across the land like wildfire. Manwork will either destroy it all or reveal the strength required for new beginnings. Follow the wildfire Manwork story to see how you can personally help protect our rich and vast country, its ancient stories and its very future. Yo, Gamma. Jana 